Out in the fields of Watsonville, California, there's an eight acre greenhouse that is eight times more productive per square foot, at least, than any dirt farm on the planet. This is Food Farm Geek Paradise, an unprecedented aquaponics system that puts out lush produce, lots of it, fueled by fish waste and clever design. Virtus Aquaponics. The name Virtus is a Latin term that means vivid green sprouting youth, which is perfectly appropriate for what we're doing. The colors in here are amazing and it's all sprouting youth everywhere. In organic farming, the goal is to feed the soil, not the plants. And we're very similar in what we do here. We feed the biology and the water, not necessarily the plants. The beginning of an aquaponic system is the fish. As the water's coming in, it swirls in the tank, which makes the waste at the bottom, you know, the, the sinking fish food and the fish waste, collects in the center, where we have a siphon that pulls it up. That waste is pulled off and dropped into a series of biological filters that are natural ecosystems in themselves. This one is an, an aerobic filtration system where different biologies are in here. As we blow air into it, it's digested again. So after it flows through the wicking beds, the water comes over to these linear streams or troughs. And uh, that's something called deep water culture is the technique we use for growing. The plants remove the nutrients and the nitrates. And that chemically cleans the water back for the fish. Full of clean, nice white roots underneath. Water goes into the roots. Nutrients go into the greens. Nutrition goes into us. No side effects needed. The fact that we don't lose any water here is a big deal, especially this winter here in California. Drew and I have known each other since April of 2013. And uh, you've seen the rain. It's rained twice. Like two, maybe three times in nine months. The difference between aquaponics and conventional is massive on so many fronts. The, the first to me is the fact that we can't use any fertilizers or pesticides. Anything we put into our systems has to be okay for the fish, which provide and, and start all of the biologies which create the right kind of foods for plants. Our yield is amazing. In the field, they grow a, a head of lettuce per square foot in their acreage. And they, can, they might be able to turn that two to three times a year, depending on how many crops they can get in a good season. Our crops floating in the streams, we do 4.5 heads of lettuce per square foot almost monthly. We encourage a biodiversity of organisms, and each organism plays its part in nature. And we don't dump anything. Everything's saved inside the system. So the only water that leaves the system, for, for that matter, the only nutrients or water that leave the system uh, are, are what's in the lettuce and the fish themselves. The nitrates that are going on soil are water soluble. So when rain happens, those nitrates are washed away into the water tables. And farmers' only alternative for artificial fertilizing is to add more nitrates to the soil after a rain or a good, a good sprinkler. The continued addition of nitrates into the water table has harmed so many things. The Mississippi and Missouri rivers drainage of the agricultural lands, nitrates abundance, flowing into the Gulf of Mexico has created a dead zone. That they say now is the size of the state of New Jersey. Nurturing and culturing of an ecosystem is a really rewarding thing. We look to nature for what natural roles are that take care of an imbalance of some sort or other, and we cultivate that here in our system. It can all seem so futuristic, so advanced, so revolutionary, and in some ways it is. But more than anything, it's simple. The best ideas always are. <laughs>